For breakfast this morning, I'm having a smoothie bowl. Um, so in my smoothie bowl, I put about a cup of um, plant milk. And this is a protein kind. And this has 10 grams of pea protein in it. And it has a lot of calcium in it as well. And the reason I'm using this one instead of the nut milk like I usually would, um, my stomach I think was kind of sensitive to the nut milk so I switched over to the pea protein milk and it is pretty good. I like it. Um, so then I do a cup worth of frozen fruit. I have this mix here that's blueberries, strawberries, and mangoes. And then I also have some frozen bananas I'll add in. Um, and then I do about half a cup of oats and then I blend it up. Now I usually go in with three-fourths of a cup of this Toasted Berry Crisp Kashi Go Lean cereal. Um, the flavor goes really good with this particular uh, blend of smoothie and this has 9 grams of protein, 8 grams fiber. Um, yeah, so I really like this. It adds like a nice crunch to the smoothie bowl. And here is my smoothie bowl. I'm also going to drink some coffee and this can of coffee right here, Donut Shop Coconut Mocha, is my absolute favorite. It is really delicious. It seriously tastes like a Starbucks drink. So um, I'm going to use this. And then for creamer, I've been using this Ripple plant-based half and half. It has omega-3s in it. Um, I don't think it's a significant source though. It doesn't actually say how much is in there, so um, I guess it's just added to my diet. But um, we get the vanilla kind. And then I also use about a teaspoon of coconut sugar. Um, coconut sugar is actually pretty good for you compared to types of sugar anyways. Um, has a lower glycemic rate I believe and then also it's not empty calories because it has some nutrients in it unlike, um, unlike white cane sugar. Okay, it's 12.30 now and I'm pretty hungry for lunch so I'm going to make myself a wrap and I'm going to use this rosemary and olive oil wrap. Uh, this is really delicious. I highly recommend them. Um, white bean and kale deli slices. This is my first time trying them. Um, they're pretty good. Um, they're similar to the tofurkey slices if you've had them before. And you really can't taste the kale in it at all. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to have some Roma tomato, some roasted pine nut hummus, butter lettuce, and dill pickles. And I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, and this is what my wrap looks like. So I just do about two tablespoons of hummus on the tortilla, three pieces of um, the deli slices, three tomatoes, two pickles, and some lettuce. And then I roll it up and that's my lunch. So I took a package of firm tofu and I just kind of chopped it up and I just put it in the skillet um, with no oil or anything and I put the skillet on medium heat and I am just chopping it really well and letting the water cook out and then once the water is cooked out I'm going to add a can of manwich which believe it or not is indeed vegan and I'm going to make sloppy joes with tofu and then serve it on some of these Kroger Jumbo Hamburger Buns. Um, I'm only going to eat one bun. Alex usually has two. Um, and almost all of Kroger's um, bread is suitable for vegans. Suitable for vegans. Okay, so with my Sloppy Joes, I am eating some uh, roasted green beans, and all I do is I just roast them at 425 for 20 minutes with a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. 
And then with the Sloppy Joes, I'm just, uh, I'm only eating one bun, but I'm still eating the half portion um, that I made. So I made two portions is what I'm trying to say. And I'm still eating my half, and then I'm just using two buns, like an open face sandwich, so that, that way I get more space and it won't all fall out everywhere because, believe it or not, I don't like my Sloppy Joes to be very sloppy.